Merry Meet Magical Salts and welcome back to another magical video. I'm so excited to unbox this box and I hope the sun doesn't get too weird in the lighting because of how the sun's shifting right now but we're out in the Enchanted Forest and for the month of June we're going to open the Witch's Moon box. These subscription boxes are so divine guys. The quality value is always amazing. I can't wait to see what's inside. Be sure to check them out in the comment section and description box down below to get your awesome Witch's Moon box today or something neat from the moon market. Let them know I sent you and what's in this box guys i am so curious what is in here Ooh, oh we are seeing some cool asian artwork already book of shadows artwork so it looks like we get our tarot card for the month and we're also gonna read what the theme is so ooh, i got an air and fire dragon guys expand your creative energies harness your creativity excitement and enthusiasm communicate your passion this is so cool. I love that. I can't wait to add this into my book of shadows. I have this tarot card on my altar. I love that. Air and fire. I'm feeling it. <laughs> and let's see what the theme is. Ooh. The mystical guide is the theme for the month of June, guys. Throughout our journey, we find specific guides that call to us and resonate with their spiritual essences. I couldn't agree more honestly, whether from feeling called to work with Goddess Nyx, a Buddha, Ascended Master, a dragon, a fairy, whatever, magical creature or deity I feel called to. They just come through and I work with them. So it says, these mystical guides come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and forms from different times and tales. Within our magical practices, we recognize these energies with much respect and gratitude from offering guidance through signs, symbols, talismans, and synchronicities to conveying support by their presence. These mystical guides are true guardians and protectors, and so it is, so true guys. In this very special and one-of-a-kind collection, we work with a very prominent guide to accompany us on our path. It is important to always find and remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideas and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast a circle protection before performing any type of ritual. And I couldn't agree more. I just love that guys. I wonder what is in this box. Are we working with a dragon? Cause I actually have a spell guys. If I remember, cause I'm busy, to put it in the description box down below too or the comment section of invoking your dragon so you guys can work with that. Sorry right, guys, I had to adjust the lighting but I'll put that spell down below to connect with your dragon that's meant for you to work with on your path if you guys want to work with one. I'll link that down below if I remember. If not, it's somewhere on my Instagram. <laughs> but let's see what is in this magical box guys. Looks like we have a sigil it says i call upon my dragon guardian oh this is so cute you may not need me if you look at the sigil and call upon your dragon guardian so while you guys look at this sigil you can call upon your dragon this is so cute that they made a sigil for that and i've already have some that i work with guys i got a couple so this is super neat to help you along your path and it looks like we have some beautiful book of shadows artwork oh no we don't we have such kick but representation of the dragons guys this one shows the chinese dragon and another chinese dragon and it's so neat because i actually have a dragon guide that is more on the like england side that looks more like that kind of dragon like an english dragon then i have another one that comes through for me that looks more like an asian dragon so that's so neat so cool that we have this imagery i cannot wait to read this and add this to my book of shadows it's so divine and i love this because I actually do work with my dragons too. And I've been calling on them a little bit more recently. So that's neat how we have this box. <gasps> no way guys. Look how well everything is always packaged. Nothing's going to break on you. And I'm opening the biggest box first. I think I know what this is with past witches moon boxes. Is this a big dragon? I think it is guys. <gasps> this is so cool. And they even carried or incorporated a piece of pyrite in here too so we'll read why they did that but this is a dragon guys and oh i love this because this actually represents the dragon that protects me well the asian dragon and he's a black one too so this is so cool oh this is actually perfect guys because i had a representation of him on my altar but it was too big so i feel like i can slide him in my altar easier and he reminds me of Mushu. <laughs> so cute. But I'm so happy to have a representation of my dragon in physical form. Thank you Witch's Moon. This is so cool. With a piece of pyrite. So I'm curious on why they incorporated pyrite. Let's see why guys. Let's read this. 
So this is a brass dragon guide altar statue, guys. As one of the most well-known mythical creatures, dragons have been found within ancient stories of lore and magic throughout almost every demographical history known to man. These wonderful and significant creatures have been so prominent within the history of the world that it is impossible to dismiss their presence and power. Several different families of dragons have been found within the lore of Europe, especially Scandinavia and islands of Northern Atlantic. France, Spain, and British Isles, Ireland, Russia, Greece, and overwhelmingly throughout China, Asia, and Indonesia. It is said that the dragons that fly through the sky realms of Mexico, America, Australia, and the Ornate are often described as using the Earth's magnetic fields and directional wind to carry them to the destination. Many dragons throughout specific regions are relied upon to protect and control the elemental realms, controlling the winds, sea levels, and storms, as well as manipulating the growth of forests that inhabit the land. Throughout China, it is said that the dragon can can take on many forms and shapes and can easily speak many languages. It is also said that most dragons can take form of a human and are almost impossible to recognize until the seeker is ready. I'm feeling this guys, I'm feeling confirmations. Recorded within Chinese history, the earliest sightings of a dragon form was found painted upon a vessel dating back towards 2000 BC before Christ. It has even been recorded that the Egyptian APEP -E was described as a large dragon serpent that whirled throughout the underworld. Although there is a vast documented history of dragons throughout many countries and cultures, we focus our energies within this collection on connecting with their energy and eventually obtaining the ability to, co to communicate with your very own personal innate dragon guide and guardian. It is important that these mythical creatures are not dismissed due to our inability to physically see them on our earthly realm. As practitioners of magic, we have refined our ability to visualize and work with our intentions to bring manifestations into our reality. Dragon magic contains the same specific concept. As you study and spend time learning about the different species and abilities of dragon guides, you will learn to incorporate each into your rituals and honorings. Please know that although a physical dragon may not, be, may not present themselves to you, it is vital to keep your perceptions clear of preconceived judgments so that you may receive signs, symbols, and messages from these guides. There's so much beautiful knowledge on here, guys, that I will let you read at the end of the video if you guys would like. And if I'm honest with you and you want to work with one, we're each gifted one from God, guys, so you don't have to worry there. There could be reasons why yours don't come to you at the moment if it's not in divine timing but if you will leave offerings and are sincere of heart one will definitely come to you guys because we've had many past lives where they've helped us or within this one like the witch's moon said you can set up your space get ready and tune in you may not physically see them because they are not on this realm but they are in another one and they will come into you through the 5d so super neat i just love that oh did, did they say why about pyrite too I know I didn't want to read too much because there was a lot of information on here, but um, the specific brass dragon was created in the size for the specific collection as is a representation of the eastern dragon. Place this dragon upon your altar as a symbol of honoring these mythical creatures and welcoming your very own dragon guide. We urge you to open your mind. Okay, this is neat, so I get it guys. They have that there so you can basically give it as an offering to the dragon and that makes sense, right? They like awesome shiny things, gems and jewels, so. That's cute. I love that. I'm super happy with this guy. So what else is in here? Looks like we got our cleansing bath salts for the month. It's called the Seeker Sacred Salt. So I am a seeker of my dragon guides and I want to connect with them. Blessed be. I smell some fiery energy guys. I was thinking of a dragon. Like I don't know. Some just puff some smoke. I smell it in this blend. So that's neat. It looks like we also have some magical herbs guys. We have some thyme leaf ground sage and basil so very earthly energies basic herbs that you can totally use to cleanse your space and create a circle around you while you connect with your dragons so no malevolent ones or energies come through love those herbs it looks like we also got this dragon's blood incense and that is another good way to burn and connect with your dragon skies so ooh. This smells good. This smells more masculine, but I smell a scent within it that could make it feminine. So it's kind of a gender neutral dragon instant, guys. So that's cool. Um, so there's that. There's this magical potion for the month of June. Is this a dragon? It's called the Dragon Scale Magical Anointing Oil, guys. Ooh, I wonder what this smells like. Ooh, this smells good. Oh, yeah. There's clove in here for sure. I smell it. 
can definitely invoke a dragon with that, especially one of the eastern ones like they were talking about, guys, because I feel it. With the clove, it has a little bit of Asian energy up in there, so I sense that. And it looks like we got a beeswax candle too, guys. That's beeswax spell candle. This one is a nice earthly tone that I could totally feel like you would connect with your dragon and it would be so cool because they give you everything guys totally like they said use it the way you want but from what i'm seeing so far i'll offer the dragon the stone burn the incense and this would represent air and fire and just like meditate upon the flame close your eyes and connect to the dragon realm and oh i just love everything in this box guys it was truly divine and so magical thank you so much witches moon for this amazing subscription box like i said before guys their value and items in these boxes are so exciting such a compelling good value compared to other brands guys that i've seen in the metaphysical realm like book of shadows artwork beeswax candles bath salts these little things alone have a pretty price tag to it but everything together with a dragon statue in a custom made box and a pyrite crystal like all these things add up guys and the value is truly amazing so i would totally check them out if you don't want to buy a subscription box from them check out their moon market it's super neat link down below for you guys and like always be sure to give the video a thumbs up subscribe and turn on those post notifications down below so you're always notified for my future content and like always guys from heaven to earth by earth by air by fire by water by spirit in the name of goddess nyx and my dragon guides may you guys always be blessed and rejuvenated in their divine embrace from heaven to earth may it be as above so below so mode it be merry meet merry part and merry meet again magical souls blessed be mm -hmm.